Big news coming out there, but we can now be joined uh, by uh, Cameron Walker, who's yeah. our royal correspondent. Cameron, what's going on here? Well, well, quite, yes. Uh, garden parties are a big annual tradition um, for the royal family. It's mm. their chance to meet ordinary members of the public, British citizens who've done good work for their communities and they're invited to these garden parties uh, at either Buckingham Palace in London or at Holyrood House in Edinburgh in Scotland. The last couple of years, they haven't happened because of the pandemic. So this year was meant to be, you know, the big reprise mm. of the garden parties and the celebration of British yeah. people. But Buckingham Palace, as you said in the last few minutes, has said that Her Majesty will not be attending any of them. Usually she does attend at least one. But I think this is just this is just another in a long list of um, engagements which Her Majesty has missed. On uh, In March, the Commonwealth Service, she missed a big annual service that would have been important to her. And then last month, the annual Maundy service, just mm -hmm. before uh, the Easter weekend, she also didn't attend. Prince Charles and Camilla uh, attended in her place. Um, and the big question is, of course, on Tuesday, we've got the state opening of Parliament and Buckingham Palace and not she's going to be reading the speech. No, e exactly. And uh, although, to be fair, not to make light of this, I now have something in common with the Queen because I also won't be attending any garden parties this summer. <laughs> but um, no, but seriously, I, I do wonder, Cara, I know you, and this is all pure speculation, but whether or not a lot of this is down to the fact she doesn't, she obviously doesn't want to appear to be seen in like a wheelchair or something like that. She's obviously got very high standards of, of what she wants to appear like. It, can we, should we be reading too much into this? Is she, do we think fit and well? It's just, it's just appearances more than anything. Yeah, well, from speaking to my sources um, and from my understanding, yeah. I understand there's no specific illness any okay. of us needs to be worried about. But, you know, she's 96. Yes, of she's is, going to she? have mobility of issues. Course. She's used a walking stick on a number of occasions. But last week in those photographs with her and the Swiss president, she did an in-person engagement at Windsor Castle. She didn't have it. So I think mm. it's a, a question of how she's going to be feeling on the day. And uh, as Buckingham Palace, one of uh, someone I was speaking to last month about the Maundy service, she she wanted to make sure that everyone was knew that she was or wasn't going to be attending ahead of time. So there wasn't either a massive disappointment on the day yeah. or the headline turned into the Queen isn't attending mm -hmm. rather than overshadowing the event itself. Yeah. So I think it's more of a forward planning thing rather than a health concern. Good.